it is day one of call. It's maybe 6.30 in the morning. I overslept, but I think I needed to sleep, so that's okay. I'm about to get on the bike, um, just an easy spin. We're gonna get on there, we're gonna get it done, and you can hear the coffee pot bubbling away, getting me uh, what I need for the day, so yeah. All right, I'll check in with you in a bit. All right, easy spin is done. That went pretty well. Feeling a bit stiff, I think, from all the driving, but uh, you know, just gotta keep working it out. Gonna try to get some breakfast in, a little bit of coffee, um, get a bit of work done, and then we start call in about 30 minutes. When I was in medical school, someone once told me, when you're on call, you should sleep when you can and eat when you can. I love that. I think it's super, super appropriate and accurate to the experience. You never really know what's gonna happen or what's coming next, and so when you get a moment, you need to sleep. When you get a moment, you need to eat. And it's about making sure that at any given moment, you're as ready as you can be to be on top of your game. So knowing your body, knowing yourself, and then responding with, you know, providing it what it needs. A third piece that I wanna to add to that is exercise when you can. When you're doing five days consecutively, it may be that you can't exercise. And if that's the case, that's okay, that happens. But if you can squeeze in a little bit, that's key. A 20 minute run, 30 minutes on the bike, if you can do it, great. Of course, fully acknowledging that you're likely going to be interrupted. And that's the next point. When you're on call, there are constant interruptions. And I mean constant. While you're working from different departments, getting phone calls, etc., but also with your own agenda and your own needs, there are interruptions. Interruptions to sleep, interruptions with getting in the shower, interruptions with exercising, all of these things. It's really important when you're on call for five consecutive days to go with the flow, and that's really important for mental health, that's really important for sustainability. You just get back on the horse, you just keep going. Everything gets interrupted, and there's no way around it. Okay, and we are officially on call for the hospital. Let's do it. So, we've been called in. Time to get to it. Guys, it is minus 10 out. This is not a drill, it is freaking cold. Gotta get inside here. <laughs> All right. So, about four and a half hours into today's shift. It's been pretty steady in the ER, seeing a bunch of patients there, seeing some patients on the ward, had an interdisciplinary team meeting with Allied Health, so physio, nursing, occupational therapy, discharge planners, etc. Whew, so it's been a busy day so far. Taking a break to get hydrated, but I gotta get back at it. All right, let's do it. I'm like eight hours in, just seeing a ton of patients back and forth between the ER and the inpatient unit. You've been super busy today. I've not completed a single chart. On every patient, you need to document everything that you said and your opinions and assessments and the lab results and blah, blah, blah. I have not done that on a single patient, so I've got some work to do. <sighs> yeah, anyways, more patients coming. Gotta go and see them now, and then I'll be doing paperwork for a while. So eight hours in, day one. Yeah, only 112 hours to go. That's not bad. Doable. Almost 15 hours in, I have not yet left the hospital. It is the busiest day I have ever had in this community. What the heck? Oh my God, day one with a bang, baby. So uh, I gotta do some paperwork now. Not great, guys. <laughs> this is a busy day, a really busy day. That was like a record busy day for me at this hospital. But you know what? Just gotta keep at it. Time to go and try to get some sleep. Back at it again tomorrow, and uh, yeah. Didn't even get all my paperwork done. Still got stuff carried over to tomorrow, that's not great. Okay, so back home now. Long day today. Um, atypically busy, I would say, for this community, but these things happen, you gotta roll with it. So we're about 17 or so hours in. I've gotta get some sleep now just in case I get called in tonight, which could totally happen. But you know what, we're still on call. We've got another four days after this one's done. And so it's about um, sleeping when you can, like I said, and eating when you can. So I've been snacking and now I gotta sleep. So didn't get to share as much with you today as I would have liked. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to do that. It's a new day. You never know what's coming around the corner. I'm gonna leave it there for today. I'm gonna to try to get some sleep and yeah, I'll check in with you tomorrow. All right.